I was going people random here, so we have a Corbin cabinet lock uh, made in, where was this made? New Britain, USA. That's got the original key on it. So Corbin did uh, cabinet locks and it did uh, padlocks. They did a lot, a ton of locks. Really good quality stuff. Uh, and then I believe they amalgamated with Corbin Ruswin. And then uh, they got bought out by somebody else again. But either way, this thing's pretty old. I'm guessing it's probably 1950s. It almost looks like a um, small format interchangeable core. Uh, I don't think it is. Uh, I've had to play around with it too much, but I can tell you this that the entire inside, including the locking poles, is one solid piece. Because when you open it up, I don't think my camera's going to pick it up. But when you pull that locking pole back, I'll give it a shot. Probably not. No, I don't got a flashlight here with me either. But uh, it's one solid piece. So it is the, the core and the locking pole system, the lock, it has slid right in completely to the steel body and there's a retaining pin on the back that probably removes the, uh, the shackle and the spring and then the cord at the same time. Uh, I'm not about to destroy it because I'm going to keep it in my collection, but we are going to give it a shot at picking it open. Mm, 50, I'm going to put the 50 in there. Oh yeah, I can put the 50 in there. So, probably what I'm going to do, it doesn't look like there's a lot of room on the on this right here. You see right in there, there's not a lot of a lot of room on this ledge here. So we're going to work on the bottom of the keyway, and I'm going to use a well, oh, keep that in position. I use this little sucker right there, which is the new one I got from Sparrows. I had one before, but I uh, I broke it because that's the way I roll. So I'll use decent tension. I'm going to start from wherever I find the first binder, which is. A, Probably number one. Two. Nothing yet. Go back to pin one, make sure he's set and is. Pin two, pin three, pin four. I don't have a false set or anything yet, so I'll probably re. I must have. Oh, well, there we go. I thought I uh, overset. It was at the back. We didn't. So it's got fairly decent uh, spring tension on it. It is a five pin, but I only felt four of them when I was picking. But that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes with these uh, small keyways, when they're tight together, uh, your pick will actually ride on the edge and clip both pins. Uh, with this bidding here, this is nothing drastic. I'll zoom in on this for you. So there's a high possibility when that when I got to, I was able to pick pin one by itself, pin two by itself, and I was probably doing three and four together. So as my pick would come up, it would hit them both, and then pin five was the one that I just had to tick up a little bit. But uh, yeah, cool. That is my uh, Corbin Russman, or the Corbin cabinet lock. Um, thank you very much for picking me 1977 for sending me these locks. Much appreciated. Uh, this one won't go out to anybody. This one's just going to sit on the shelf and look pretty for years to come. So thank you very much. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't... Um, subscribe go ahead and subscribe like this video if you like and if you go back to video 58 you can still enter the contest to uh win a free lock but either way take care and support your local locksmith